exponential and logarithmic form. Question 2. Rewrite each equation in logarithmic form, right? So now we are given exponential form and we will write in the logarithmic form. Remember, base should be same as we did in question 1, right? So a is 49 equals to 7 square, b is 5 to the power of x equals to y, c is a equals to b to the power of x, and d is square root of 81 equals to 9, right? You can do it yourself and then look into my solution, correct? So here we can write log to the base 7, correct? Log to the base 7 of 49 is 2. Do you see that is how we will write this? We we'll say log to the base 7 of 49 is equals to 2. Do you see that? Log to the base 7. That is our base of 49 is equals to 2. That is how we will write it. Here the base is 5. Do you see that? So we will write this as log to the base of 5, right? Log to the base of 5 of y is equals to x. So the exponent is your answer, right? log to the base 5 of y is equals to x. Do you see that? So that is what, so in a way we take log to the base of this number both sides. So if I take here, base should be b, right? So I'm basically, let me show you this time how am I doing this, right? So we have a equals to b to the power of x, right? So what I do is, I do log of base b of a equals to log of base b of b to the power of x correct now from here i get log to the base b of a and this is log base of b is 1 to the power of x we get x here so we write here log base is b base is b of a equals to x do you see so this part is equal to x do you see that so that is how you write your logarithmic form from exponential form this one is kind of tricky so what is the base here so in this case let me show you separately square root of 81 so the base actually is 81 so we can write this as 81 to the power of half equals to 9 right so square root so the base is 81 do you see that so we say log of base is 81 we'll keep 81 of 9 is equals to half. Do you understand? So that is how we are going to write this statement. Correct? So I'll give you some practice question here similar to this, right? You know, square root of 49 equals to 7, for example, right? I'm rewriting this in a different way. So try this out, right? So let's see how comfortable you are doing it. I hope you understand now how to write logarithmic form into exponential and exponential into logarithmic form, right? We will use these strategies in solving and evaluating logarithms soon. All the best. Thank you.